Going up the hill, up towards Santa's view, and there you go, John. All uphill, and behind me, downhill, forward, going back down. Average speed 11.3 going up. Wonder what it'd be coming down. I'm riding up to sea level, just coming up to sea level now. I don't know how high we're going, a thousand feet or so. That's what I've been looking forward to, the turnaround point. I wanted to ride up to a thousand feet. I have, I don't know, 7.3 miles but uh good thing about it turn around here and it's downhill all the way to a minus 190 feet so that was fun time to turn around <laughs> come all the way from a thousand feet Stop photos of the views into sea level. Still about 190 feet to go down. Well, I've done 55 miles, climbed 2,298 feet, feel alright, went off a bit quick, probably with the 100 mile a lot, an average about 19, 20 mile an hour, the first bit, eased off, took it steady, and uh, feeling good, just passed an aid station before Scotty's Castle, Scotty's Castle's next. And then uh, out along the top to Scotty's Junction. Hundred miles in, and now the wind's behind me. It's been tough. First bit up to 60 miles was mainly uphill, and then had a headwind up to 92 miles, then a turn around and pedal back. And the roads go on for miles and miles in a straight line, like that, and like that. Found a group, five of us, to help with the headwind, taking turns at the front. The five ended up in two, myself and another chap who was a fairly good rider, I was hanging on to him. And uh, that helped. I am looking forward to the downhill point in about 20 miles I think so I've got 20 miles of this sort of road and then some fast downhills see you later
Now, this is a bit that I've been looking forward to and not looking forward to really. It's Mud Canyon, seven miles all uphill, gradient of six, seven percent. And uh, at the top, Hell's Gate. So we've had quite a nice ride. Now from Scotty's newbie Hebe. Averaging, the average has gone up to 16 miles an hour. Be interesting what it is at the top and what it's going to be at the finish. But I feel alright. Just want to get this last climb out of the way and I'll be a happy man. Just climbed out of Vegas into Red Rock Canyon, 18 miles away. What a difference from some more in a minute. Well, it's been a ride and a half out of Vegas. This looks like the next stop area. Turn around here and go back downhill. It's been good fun. And it's such a contrast from the strip. I film a little bit on the way back. That's exactly what I mean. Just come down from Red Rock, back into Vegas. What a contrast from that, back there, beautiful, into one of the maddest cities on earth. I'll uh, film a little bit more when I get a little bit further in. I've got 26 miles on the clock and I think I'm about 10 miles away from the centre of Vegas and everything is all built up from now on in. Now I've got this. Lots of red lights, lots of cars. Quite manic. No cycle lane. And uh, I'm gonna get away. Well over down into Vegas now, I'm trying to find my way into the strip and uh, it's getting quite hectic. It's the I-15 there and uh, that's where I've come down. It's been downhill for quite a long way, which has been very nice. I've come a different way back, but all I know is that's the tower, the stratosphere. Oh, I'm not too far from that. So, head on up to the strip. What a contrast. Raced a few cars away from the lights. Coming up. We got Drop in, set on your right, Plaza on your left, Mirage. Trump. Behind me, we've got Circus Circus and a few of the others. It's quite mental traffic now. Still, it's what I mean. In there. In there. In the Venetian. Uh, quite scary this. A bit different to Biddy for Key, I must admit. Right. Treasure Island. Scary. Got a new game, it's called Guess Which Lane I Should Be In. We've got 15. Yeah. MGM there. I'm 
back and it's been fun. I'm turn around I think I have to go back. It's taken me forever to actually uh, get anywhere because of the lights stopping every two minutes. Back down the other way now. Uh, oh, yes, the battle is now. Great fun. We're racing with a few cars, I think. Liven it up a bit. Yeah. Very windy now, I know that much. Have to hide behind the bus, I think. Oh, I've got a green light coming up. Come on. Wait forever at those bloody red lights. Straight across, down through there. Smile, everyone. I'm gonna put it in a minute and text Anna. <laughs> New York, New York. Put in here, I think. Well, hopefully, I won't go too fast on this path because if I lose control and go over the edge, it's a long way down. Here we are. Riding the path down and probably <coughs> done in the <laughs> Let's go right out in front of me, probably bump into some elk later. Hopefully I won't bump into a mountain lion. Oh shit, this is quite scary here. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, I don't want to go down there. Canyon and every <laughs> to cars and open to horses, buses, which are the official Grand Canyon buses, take you from site to site, and bikes. And I've seen two buses in the last seven miles. I think it goes down for about 20 miles. I don't know how far I'm going to go. It's a bit breezy in places. This is cold. This is cold. Just heading into where we are. So 
oh so quiet. Now thus, I mean, I've got breakfast on for me. Today is, I'll have a ride, get warm, and head down south, stop off on the way, and then uh, head to uh, San Diego. Just for the sun and for the surf, hopefully, then. I've got two toes. That's where they are for you. Thank <laughs> you. 